All right, there we go. That was insane. I'm so sorry, guys, that we crashed out there. That was, uh... I don't know, maybe it's because it's so damn hot in here? Oh, well, I guess that puts a dividing marker in the stream. All right, well, we'll let, uh, we'll give a couple of seconds here to get people back in, and then we'll start back into the story. Um, lame. Lame, lame, lame! My hatred is real. For the lameness. supposed to happen that way. Oh, well, whatever. Oh. All right. to get back in and then we'll uh we'll keep rocking there sorry about that I, I my computer like literally just i saw the screen freeze and i was like oh well let me see if it's just this video feed and uh and then all of a sudden i saw my bios screen and, and i was like holy shit the thing just completely hard rebooted so uh let's hope it never does that again it never really has so it's probably just Bad luck. Bad luck. Oh well. This is the this is the the break I really needed anyways. I need a little bit more time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use this opportunity real quick. I'm gonna go to the restroom, and um, and then when I come back, we'll we'll get going, because uh, this actually worked. Yeah, this is, was a was a blessing in disguise. A little mix, you know. <laughs> you hope for uh, you hope for the best, and you get next next best. All right, guys. Uh, un moment, un momento, por favor.
All right, guys, we're all back, and I think we're ready like spaghetti. Let me get a good little position here so I can... Want to get a good patch there. And take two. Alright, where are we at here? Oh, yeah, yeah, that poor son of a bitch. What was his name again? I forgot. He's important. Buddy Vance, that's it. Poor Buddy Vance. Get sucked down. Now we got this Honda looking thing. Late night last night. You didn't sleep. I heard you. So, I, I talked to me. Wait, what? That didn't make any sense. <clears throat> Late night last night. You didn't sleep. I heard you. So, talk to me. Something happened to you last night, didn't it? I felt some kind of change, but whatever we were waiting for, it didn't come to me. So whatever it is, it came to you. We have to trust each other, like we always have, you know? Because we're strong together, and right now, I need to feel strong. You just need to get some sleep. Let me drive you back. Hate that house. It gives me bad dreams. I hate being in this whole fucking town. I'm 35 seconds older than you. 35 more in this shithole. Stop behaving like an asshole. We'll talk tonight, Tommy. We have to help each other. Especially now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You should take the car and go and go home and sleep. Wait, let me start over. I just realized I missed where you said... Hi, Bryce. Oh, well. All right, whatever. All right. There's nothing to be afraid of. You should take the car and go home and sleep, and you really mean it. I trust you, Joe Beth. I... Well, looky here. Christ, I was dumb. Tommy, I want you to meet Howie. Howie, this is my twin brother, Tommy Ray. Howie? As in Howard? Later. That was my car screeching sound. What was that about? I don't know exactly. He's been odd since... Jobeth! Are you coming to the store, Jobeth? We're already late opening. Is your friend coming too? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Howie, this is Lois Knapp. Mrs. Knapp. Howie Katz, ma'am. Katz? Please be quick, Jobeth. The Lord's work is not to be taken lightly. Come with me. It's a beautiful day. Let me make peace with Lois first, then I'll tell her Tommy Ray's sick and come by the hotel. Promise. Howard Katz. 
I remember where I know that name from. A, a woman who lived in the grove. She had a baby boy. She was a friend of yours? Not mine. Your mama's. One of the four. She was one of the four. Your boss is Buddy Vance, the comedian? Yes, sir. He went running out here, and now he's missing. How deep is it, this crack? It's not a crack, it's a fucking abyss. I dropped a stone down a minute ago. I'm still waiting for it to hit bottom. Jaff, give me your mind. I want Tarada. <laughs> Jaffy. I'm Fletcher. Forget your pain, Buddy Vance. I need you to imagine with me. Imagine your fondest wish, but not death, please. Don't imagine death. I can't arm myself with that. Arm yourself? Who are you? We were men once. Spirits now. Enemies forever. I need you to help me. Give me the last squeezings of your mind. Or I go to war with him naked. Sorry, I already gave. What, what was that thing? The Tarada. Your nightmare made solid. I wanted to be Sky, Vance. Instead, for two decades, I've lived in darkness, with the Jaff at my throat. Now he's taking the war overground, and I need arms against him, plucked out of your head. Quiddity must be preserved. The Dream Sea. You might even see its islands if you die. Heaven? Heaven's only one of many stories told of the shores of the Ephemeris. Ephemeris. I always fuck this word up. Heaven's only one of the many stories. Heaven is. <clears throat> Heaven's only one of the many stories told of the shores of the Ephemeris. I need a little of your mind to preserve it. Imagine for me. Give me something more than regret to make an ally of. Who are your heroes? Comedians. All of them. I... Don't die for Quiddity's sake. Not yet. A moment, that's all I need. Sorry. Can't. Seem to hold on. No, damn you! Tesla? It's a gorilla? What's new? Nathan Grillo. Uh, yeah, let me start that over. Tesla, it's Grillo. What's new? Nathan Grillo. I've got good news. Got a development deal for one of my screenplays. Bully for you. Meanwhile, Abernathy sent me to Palomo Grove to do a story on Buddy Vance. The dead comedian? Saw that he's down a hole. It's on TV. Yeah, him. I need dirt. What's his life story?
Professor Bombeck. Well, comedians aren't my strong point, but I looked him up when I heard. Married six times, once to a 17-year-old. His second wife OD'd. You can write about this one with feeling. Very funny. Speaking of which, was he... What, Vance? I suppose he was, in a way, he had this rubber face and a weird... What? Let me back up. I think I missed some context here. <laughs> well, can we start with... Very funny. Speaking of which, was he? What, Vance? I suppose he was, in a way. He had this rubber face and a weird persona, like half idiot, half slim slime ball. What? What, Vance? I suppose he was, in a way. He had this rubber face and a weird persona, like half idiot, half slime ball. You never saw him? I suppose I must have. I owe you dinner for the information. Deal. Tomorrow, if you're still there, I'll come find you. Oh, and since I know you hate goodbyes, Grillo. Yeah? Click. I told my mama about you. It's a long story and goes way back. Your mother and mine, they were best friends. So this was in the stars. That's not the way Mama sees it. All my life there's been rumors about her and her friends. I only know bits and pieces. There were four of them. They were attacked, raped, I think. Mother? Why did she never say anything? Who's going to tell their kid they were conceived that way? I've lived with these rumors my whole life. Mama was driven half mad by them, always talking about the devil and Satan having his eye on me. I recognized you the moment I saw you. You know why? Love at first sight? With someone who's probably your own sister? Mama told me not to go near you, not to even think of you. I should go. Mama wants the pastor. Stay a while, please. We don't have to talk. We don't have to do anything. We'll sleep. Maybe it'll all come clear in a, if we just let it be. As they slept, Howie and Joey... <clears throat> Joey... As they slept, Howie and Jobeth dreamed of a dark sea which carried them towards a wonderful place. Tommy Ray had dreams as well. In them, there was blood and rock and a pale, flickering creature that made him sick. And there was a man who he could not quite make out yet. I'm ready and willing. Just come get me, whoever the fuck you are. Howie and Joey Beth... I keep saying Joey. That's weird. Howie and Joe Beth found their dream journey interrupted by something snatching at them, pulling them down into a shaft of rock and pain. Yes, sir, Mr. Grillo. Until this morning, these caves were sealed. I sealed them myself many years ago. The policeman I was talking to said there's rivers down there. There's a whole world down there. Were all of us living on a fault line? We could all go the way of Buddy Vance, but... It's opening, Jesus Christ, it's opening! Ah! 
Bouf. You're alive. You dreamed it too. It wasn't a dream. It was real. What have we done? Howie... Nothing. We've done nothing. It was just a bad dream. In both of our heads? Maybe... Maybe it wasn't the same. I was floating with you beside me. Then I was underground. Men were screaming. All right! It was the same. See, whatever's between us, it's wrong. I don't believe the devil's in this, but if he isn't, who is? Have you got any answers for that? No. No answers at all. Buddy Van's death took a turn for the cat... <laughs> God damn it, why can I not read better? Buddy Vance's death took a turn for the cataclysmic. And you were there to witness it? That's the best news yet? But Mr. Abernathy, I almost died when he, the caves collapsed. Other people died... Other people did die and... That's what you need to start writing, Grillo! Take a room in town and charge it to me. I'll hold the front page. Let me restart that. Fresh my beverage. Buddy Vance's death took a turn for the cataclysmic, and you were there to witness it. That's the best news yet, Mr. Abernathy. I almost died when the cave collapsed. I screwed that up, Mr. Abernathy. I almost died when the cave collapsed. La 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 la. Mr. Abernathy, I almost died when the caves collapsed. Other people did die, and that's where you need to start writing, Grillo. Take a room in town and charge it to me. I'll hold the front page. What happened at the caves left Grillo numb, but he took a room at the Hotel Palomo, cleaned up, Left a message stating his present location for Tesla and headed out to track down his story. His destination? Buddy Vance's mansion home. Atop the hill, Coney Eye. Yes? I'm Grillo. I called before. I'm here to interview Mrs. Vance. Yes, Mr. Grillo. Come in. I'll alert Rochelle you're here. Wait, what was that? She passed him a note. Mr. Grillo, I'm Buddy's widow. I'll answer your questions the best I can, as long as you limit them to Buddy's professional life. I know nothing about his other wives, nor will I speculate on his addictions. This art? Buddy called it the true art of America. It may be that it may be <coughs> Buddy called it the true art of America. It may be that it is, which says something. Now, you know why I left him. I didn't realize you don't live here. I tried, but look at this place. I tried, but look at this place. It's like walking into a buddy's mind. There was no room for me here. This is the buddy van story. Wives, wealth, and carnival. Nothing terribly new in it, I'm afraid. Not the kind of things your readers would like to read, is it? Well, well, see what's what. Little. Well, we'll see what's turns up. I'm gonna stay in town until your husband's body is found. Oops. I won't be. 
They've given up the search. Oh, it won't be. They've given up the search. They already lost five men in the search, so the slim chances of finding him isn't worth the risk. Does that upset you? Not really. It's better he be remembered smiling. So, you see, your story finishes here, Mr. Grillo. Thank you for coming, Ellen. Will you see... Little. <clears throat> Thank you for coming. Ellen will see you out. Thank you for seeing me. You've been most kind. Let me back. Let me do that one more time, because I, I really hate it. And I'm doing this, like, quasi transatlantic y accent for her. Does that upset you? Not really. It's better he be remembered smiling. So, you see, your story finishes here, Mr. Grillo. Thank you for coming. Ellen will see you out. Thank you for seeing me. You've been most kind. <clears throat> Joe Beth tried sleeping. It was... Jobeth tried sleeping. It was all she could do. After a shared dream with how he proved to be prescience, they both saw the me. They both saw the men die in the cave, and as they slept, I need to do that one more time. Jobeth tried sleeping. It was all she could do. After a shared dream with how he proved to be prescience. They both saw the men die in the cave, and as they slept. Oh, okay, it's cave in. God damn it. All right, third time's gonna nail it. I, I, I'm almost positive. Joe Beth tried sleeping. It was all she could do. After the, sh after her. Sh <clears throat> all right, maybe the fourth try. Joe Beth tried sleeping. It was all she could do. After her shared dream with Howie proved to be prescience. They both saw the men die in the cave-in as they slept. Returning home, she told her mother she'd never see Howie again, a decision she made in haste. Her mother, unusually distracted this her mother, unusually distracted this day, simply wrung her hands and muttered prayers to herself. Howie told her the cave-in was not the devil's work, and of course he was right. But now Walking in darkness, she felt a distress from the approaching night that she'd never felt before. Click. The rattling window woke Tommy. <clears throat> the rattling window woke. The rattling window woke Tommy Ray with a start. The sound making him nauseous anxious all at once. The click and rattle served notice that something awaited him in the yard. Finally, the summon he'd been waiting for. My son, we meet at last. Come closer. Where's my daughter? Where's Jobeth? I... I think she's in the house. Go fetch her for me, will you? In a minute. Now! I, I, I want to see you first. I want to know this isn't a trick. <laughs> Already I hear my voice in you. Of course you must see me. I... I am your father. I am the Jaff. Joe Beth, what's happening? Something terrible in my sleep. It's all right, Mama. Stay in bed. I'll be back in a while. Just stay where you are. I am your father, do you believe me? Yes, I believe you. 
And you'll obey me like a loving son? Yes, I will. Good. Now, please fetch my daughter. I called her, but she refuses to come. And you know why. My enemy has touched her. Cats. I made you and Jobeth to be my agents. My enemy did the same. He made a child, and now he's touched your sister. That's what keeps her from me. That taint. Not for long. Oh, Jabeth. Tommy Ray. Outside, something wonderful. Come with me. I'm not going anywhere, Tommy. Don't fight just because he touched you. It doesn't mean you are you belong to him. What are you... Cats, I know what he did. Don't be ashamed. You're forgiven. But you have to come apologize in person. Forgiven? You're, you've got no right to forgive me, you asshole. You and of all. No, not me. Your father. Who... Who art outside... <laughs> your father who art outside. What? Joe Beth. That's him. The Jaff. He's calling you. Go on. This is what we've been waiting for. I'm the Jaff, your father. Really? Really. Why are you here now? After all this time? Come closer, I'll tell you. Don't let it touch you. Come away, both of you. This has nothing to do with you, Mama. This is our father. He's come home. You don't know, son. You can't begin to understand. I warn you, this has nothing to do with you. Stupid! Don't you know evil when you see it? Joe Beth, quickly, come with me. My room, hurry, I know how it stop how to stop it. He's coming. I'm ready. You can't fight him with that. He's not even human. Is he? I don't know what he is. I've tried to th think. All these years, maybe the devil. Maybe not. I've been afraid for so long, and now he's here. And it all seems so simple. He told me the truth after a fashion. He is your father. Wait. <clears throat> he told you the truth after a fashion. He is your father, or rather, one of them. He made a whore of me, drove me half mad with desire I didn't want. The man who slept with me is your father, but this, this, is what really made you. I hear you loud and clear. Keep away, I'll kill her. So help me, God. I mean it. Try to come in here, and your daughter's dead. You would be a fool to kill the only thing that made your life worth living. But you might, might you? Fine by me. There's always tomorrow. It's gone. But what about Tommy? I was bound to lose him, no use now. I guessed I would come... I guessed it... I guessed it would have come... I guess it would have come... I guess it would have come given time. It didn't come for me. I was just a convenient womb like all of us. 
I was so ashamed. I wanted to kill myself, but the pastor kept me strong. For you and for Tommy Ray. You must have been very strong. I love you, Mama. I know I said I was afraid, but I know you wouldn't have hurt me. Joe Beth. I would have killed you stone dead. My enemy is still here. Who? Tell me, I'll tear his throat out for you. I'm not afraid of anything. Well, <laughs> see about that. Tell me. Tell me what your enemy's like. His name is Fletcher. We were partners before. You were born. But he cheated me. Or at least he tried to. What was your business? Our business? <laughs> it was the getting of power. One particular power called the art. With it, I will be able to step into the dreams of America. Are you kidding me? Not at all. The dr <clears throat> Not all of the dreams. Just the important ones. I will explore the only real remaining mystery in, inside our heads. Let me redo that last one. Not all the dreams, just the important ones. I will explore the only real remaining mystery inside our heads. But we all dream. You can get in there any time you like, just by dreaming. Most dreams are just folks picking up their memories and trying to put them in some kind of order. But there's another kind of dream, Tommy Ray. It's a dream of what it means to be born and fall in love and die. A dream that explains what being is for. I know this is confusing. Go on. I, I like to hear anyhow. There's a sea of mind called Quiddity. And floating in that sea is an island, which appears in the dreams of every one of us at least twice in our lives. The beginning and the end. It was first discovered by the Greeks. Plato wrote of it in code. He called it... Atlantis. I want to swim in that sea when I choose and go to the shores where the great stories are told. But first, my enemy must be killed. He's weak. He won't try to leave the grove until he has some protection. He'll look for his own child, I guess. Cats. Then I should kill cats. That sounds like a useful thing to do. If the opportunity presents itself. But where... <clears throat> but were it not for cats, I'd still be underground. What he and Jobeth did set me free. Did they fuck? <laughs> that brother's... That bothers you. Me too. The idea of Fletcher's child touching your sister sickens me, and Fletcher too. The question was which of us was stronger to make it to the surface first. You. Yes, me. I have an advantage Fletcher lacks. My army, my Tarata. A best drawn out of dying men. I drew this one from Buddy Vance. Gross. You got that from a comedian? Doesn't look funny to me. It came from a dying man, frightened and alone. They always produce fine specimens. But here? Where will I find other such specimens? You mean people dying? I mean people vulnerable, frightened people, 
Lost people, mad people, people without mythologies to protect them. You could start with Mama. She's not mad. <laughs> She's protected herself with her faith. However idiotic it is. No. I need naked people, Tommy Ray. Folks without deities. Lost folks. I know a few. Tommy Ray led Jaffe to several visits that night. Each time, Jaffe pulled some new beast out of the lost soul. As the Nightmare Army grew, Jaffe instructed his new emissaries to return to Joe Beth and tell her he remembered nothing. Let me read fix that because I screwed that up. As the Nightmare Army grew, Jaffe instructed his new emissary to return to Joe Beth and tell her he remembered nothing. I don't want to go. You want to see the grove turned upside down, don't you? Like father, like son. Hang loose, boy. I'll be back. Don't you know how things... Don't... Don't you know how things look with you coming to town just at the same time Mr. Vance is killed? Ah. Okay, so we're on to this part. Let's, let's break here real quick. And... Just take a little quick... Brain breather. Brain breathers. Sponsored by Brain Bleed. The only way to bleed that horrible feeling out of your soul. Brain Bleeds. Sponsored by Menon. See what I mean, guys, about the story getting good really fast? It's just like... First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth... It's like a motorcycle. Oh, man. We've already got... The, uh, we don't even have a fucking clear protagonist. Um, or I guess we kind of, well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's one of those, uh, I love these stories. I love this story. I'm so excited. to cool it down just a little bit. Remote control, guys. Remote control. Fascinating technology. Um, it's able to take radio frequencies and encode them in a manner that that ceiling fan understands. I don't know how it works. I thought it was a wizard, and I went to Home Depot and Lowe's, and they they asked me to leave. They, they told me to get... Get the hell out of here, you, you creeping us out. You, 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 need, to, you need to leave, sir. You, you creepy. Hmm. Now your character's not showing up, Bryce. works anymore. Oh, 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 shit. Stream avatars loaded up for Twitch. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry. And now it's fixed. Mm. 
my bad. It's really, it's, it's like a, it's a slight color change that even tells you which, which system you're in. Okay, and I just wanted to check our recordings here. Everybody looks so far so good. Cool. All right, kick ass. I'm having a lot of fun. I, I kind of have shit to do tomorrow, but... I, I don't know. I mean, make hay while the sun shines. I kind of feel like that too, you know. Like I'm having, I'm in a good, I'm having a good time with this story. Um, uh, let's see, how far are we in now? Let's see, we're at uh, we're at page eighty-seven, so we're we're maybe like a quarter through the story. Maybe a little, maybe a little more than that. Maybe like uh, a. Th close to a third so that's fantastic news oh yeah yeah we had no I, I just looked down and I was like oh well, there's nobody and then I remember someone had said yeah like Bryce had, had oh that's what's up I'm looking at like an old copy of chat uh -huh. Oh shit, I think I've been missing like a whole bunch of chat because I've been looking at an old version of it from earlier. My bad, guys. Oh my god, I feel like such an idiot. I was looking at the wrong chat this whole damn time. All right, um, a bunch, of, yeah, well, I didn't have a choice here. Hey, Noble and Savage. I don't know if I missed you there. Sorry, I, I literally was looking at the ROM. I'm, 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 a, I'm not like the sharpest knife in the drawer. Uh, oh well. Had no see avatars, I noticed, but I didn't worry about it. And, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know, and I just put them in there because I know a lot of people from the Twitch channel. They love them, and and I like it too. So I you know, put it in there for them and for me, for all of us to enjoy. Man, why is it so fucking hot? Oh wow, I think I heard. I think I heard my cat. All right, we'll jump back in and just a minute here, pick it up with old Howie, Howie Cats. So as far as 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 I recall, so right now Fletcher is still in the uh, in the the cave or the the fissure or whatever. The Fletcher is in the fissure. And, uh, um, what else was funny? And the bacon's in the pan? No, um, he's in there, but yeah. Trying to get out by stealing, by having earthquakes that drop cops in there and, and trying to make his army from those guys. Yep, not really a nice, nice guy, really. Well, Fletcher's like a really weird character in the whole story, because, like in the book, it's it's way more laid out about his whole time in um, when he's in Mexico and the mission, 
and um, in the book there's a little bit more that's mentioned that was kind of glossed over but it just like so like he was in a he was like a big academia guy but then he was all you know doing mescaline all the time which is such a weird drug to abuse and uh <laughs> and he like his eyes all weird because he, he he has this addiction to staring at the sun which is where his whole line will i be sky is based out of because he always wants to stare at the sun and and uh I don't know. He's just like a really weird character, like this completely mad guy who's not a good person, but is supposed to represent good. And and the Jaff is like a complete scummy guy, but he, you know, he's probably, I mean, other than, you know, him being an Omaha and turning into the Jaff and everything, he's just a normal scummy dude. I don't know. They both just seem like the same guy, but they decided to take this this battle and so forth I don't know it's, it's kind of weird because it's a romanticism type thing of good and evil and but you can't really say that about Fletcher because he's kind of well I mean He's like, oh, well, I had to rape you because uh, that's what he did. And so, you know, I can't let him get away with that. So I did it. And you're like, oh, um, yeah, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't swing. That doesn't swing with a lot of people. Oh, well, the other guy did it, so I did it too to fuck him. Jaff is a bit of a work. Yeah, yeah, the Jaff is insane. He's, like, mad. But, I mean, prior to the, you know, he's just this, like, you know, just this loser. Uh, basically, that's his character. He's just this sh shitty, slimy loser guy. And, um... But, yeah, once he gets the power, or the art, or once he starts learning about it, and then he starts, you know realizing like ah, I can just do whatever the fuck I want and that's when he gets that megalomania I think that that drives him to be like just completely evil let's see let's uh, swing over to here let me you learn well we'll see I don't want to spoil the story right. let's get this out let's get this up <coughs> get those cops out Thanks again, everyone, joining in. Uh, feel free to, to chat and comment. Uh, if you guys are just talking to each other, I'll try to pay attention. I'll try to... And now I, I have the correct chat, so... Like, ten times more likely to... Read it. Like, maybe more than ten. I don't know. I'm not a math guy. I'm more of a numbers guy. Alright, 
That sounds the best. This mic I have, it's a Rode NT1, and, and it's pretty nice, but it's like, it's pickup pattern. You can hear it. I can just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It has a very, very narrow field, even though it's a hyper. And um, I kind of notice, like, it sounds just the best if you're about, like, less than 10 inches from it. If you really got to get down on it. And I, I, I'm kind of annoyed about that because I'm like, well, this is very inconvenient because I don't want a microphone up my fucking snoot, but, you know. Haha, <laughs> funny guy. Tommy Ray going to be like his father. Keep listening to find out. Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah, let's get back into it. Let me uh, pour some sugar on me, babe. In the name of love. Oh, wait, we're going to copyright. i got to shut up. All right. Ugh. All right, let's go. Uh, I forgot how to read. Can you guys tell me what that says? Okay. What was... Oh, yeah, i got to click on this window. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Don't you know how things look? With you coming to town just at the same time Mr. Vance is killed? I, I was born here, you know. I'm just looking for Joe Beth, and yes, I know who you were. I knew your mother. Not well, of course, but everybody knew everybody's back then. Back when the accident happened. You can call it an accident, but it was... It was rape, right? I'm sure I don't recall. I, I didn't kill Buddy Vance, you know, and, and my mother certainly didn't. The place where your mother was raped is the same place where Mr. Vance fell to his death. The, f the very same? Then you, you think I'm part of this somehow? I didn't say that, but yes. Yes, I do. I, I'll go then. Just, just tell Joe Beth I was here, okay? I'm, that's not too much to ask, is it? Ring. I don't know how to do the the automatopoeia parts. I'm not gonna say schmack. I guess I just did. Hello. Did I wake you, Tesla? I love a man who remembers my name. It's late. You should be up and working, so you're free when I arrive. You're you're coming here? You owe me a dinner for all that Vance gossip. For all the Vance gossip. Let me start over. You owe me a dinner for all the Vance gossip. So find somewhere expensive. I just have to go see Ellen, the, the one who slipped me the note at Vance's house. What time will you be here? I'll be there in about... Click. Ellen Yuen's house in Deerdell. I was his mistress, Mr. Grillo, for almost five years, even when his wife was in the house, which wasn't often. I think she knew all along. That's why she got rid of me, first chance she could. You're no longer employed up at Coney, then? She said I was flirting with you. She judges everyone by her standards such that they are. Nah, let me start there. She said I was flirting with you. She judges everyone by her standards such as they are. I have to speak low. <clears throat> I have to speak low so my son Philip doesn't hear. He 
he's sick in the other room, but you knew Rochelle was a prostitute before Buddy married her, right? <laughs> she... she was what? Oh, yes, she might be beautiful, but she was... she also has an expensive habit. That's part of why Buddy married her. There's this thick streak of perversity in him. I mean, there was, it, it, but it was me he loved all those years, not her. He took a real risk marrying her, didn't he? I'd say so, especially when he was cleaning up his act and trying to get the news... <clears throat> Sorry. I dried out my throat here. I'd say so, especially when he was cleaning up his act and trying to get the networks to give him another show. He was one of the best... <clears throat> he was one of the best loved men in America. Excuse me. Here, let me do that one more time since I now get them. I'll just do this whole thing. He took a real risk marrying her then. Lilua. He took a real risk marrying her, didn't he? I'd say so, especially when he was cleaning up his act and trying to get the network to give him another show. He was one of the best loved men in America. Excuse me. I'll go. His name's Philip. Yes? I'll take care of him. D wait, what? I'll go. His name's Philip. Wait. I'm still confused. I'll go. His name's Philip? Yes. I'll take care of him, don't worry. Hi, Philip. I'm Grillo. Where's Mommy? She'll be here in a minute. What you drawing? Balloon Man. Is he from the TV? Nope. From my head. He'll bite you. That's not nice, Philip. That's not nice, Philip. You shouldn't get too close to him. He's very sick. Mr. Grillo, what I was telling you is... <clears throat> Mr. Grillo, what I was telling you, it's not all the story. There's... A lot more to tell. But I'm not quite ready to tell it yet. How he went from the bookstore to Joe Beth's house. There he met Joyce McGuire, who echoed Mrs. Knapp's sentiment. And worse, Joe Beth told him the same. No, not quite the same. It was dangerous for him to be there, she said. Confused and stammering, too much to protest, Howie left to come here. Last time Howie was summoned here to the area where his mother and Buddy Vance both came to their various griefs, he resisted. But not this time. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Howard, I'm here. Who's there? Make it stop! You disappoint me, Howard. My name is Fletcher, and you're my son. I, I'm... what? Did you say... Did you say... Hello. I'm... Wh what? Did you say son? I did. My favorite word, as above, so below. I've been calling you for a long time, father to son. How did you get in my head? I needed you down here to help me. You kept resisting. <clears throat> I screwed it up. One more time. I'm actually trying out. I needed you down here to help me. You kept resisting me. I suppose I would have done the same, but you should have let the visions run wild. They made me sick. Too much too soon, that's all. You get used to it. I did my best to give you a taste of the miracle before you 
saw it. <clears throat> I did my best to give you a taste of the miracle before you saw its maker in the flesh. Come, embrace me as your father, Howard. No, you're not my father. Well, I'm one of them. There was another, but I'm the important one. Why are you so angry, anyway? Is it your desperate affair with the Japs, child? How do you know about your Beth? Whatever's in your mind, son, is in mine. At least since you fell in love. Let me tell you, I don't like it. You and Jobeth are not brother and sister. She and her brother are the Japs making. You are mine. That's why you have to help me, Howie. I'm weaker than he is. A dreamer. I always was. He's already out there, raising his damn Tarada. His what? His creatures, his army, that's what he's got from the comedian. Something to carry him away. I got nothing. Dying people don't have many fantasies. It's always fear. He loves fear. But who is he? The Jaff? <laughs> My enemy. There's only us, son, against the whole world. Well, will you join me? Joyce? It's Pastor John. May I come in? Hi, my mom's upstairs. Come on in. I'll, I'll tell her you're here. Howie Katz looked in at Joe Beth. Even after everything he'd witnessed so far tonight, she remained the most extraordinary sight he'd ever seen in this world. And he knew now that she was meant for him. This was as much as confirmed by his father, Fletcher, before he left. He learned that at the same time, he learned about the existence of... Quiddity Howard. Between this world, the cosm, and the metacosm, our or lonely place, is a sea called Quiddity. And on that sea, there's an island. Joe Beth and I were, went there. Joe Beth. I went there with Joe Beth. We were floating there. That, that means she's the love of my life. It's called Ephemeris. There is where your f There is where... <clears throat> it's called Ephemeris. There is where you'll find the great and secret show. Which we see three times. At birth, at death, and for one night will we sleep beside the love of our lives. Forget her... Something the Jaff fathered is too tainted to be loved, too corrupt, and she rejected you. I'll win her back. Inside, Fletcher cursed his inadequacies. He failed to win over his son, whether in straight argument or through revelation, which allowed him to comprehend his father's jeopardy. And not just his, the world's. He knew how dangerous the Jaff was. He knew even back at the mission to Santa Catalina, when the Nuncio had first ravified, the first, ah, oh, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. But then I like got kind of hung up with the, 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 the Santa Catalina and then I fucked up raffified or something. I don't know. So what is that? Raffified? Rarified. Rarified. There we go. That's the goddamn word. I didn't know that was a word until now.
and not just <clears throat> and not just his the world's he knew how dangerous the Jaff was he knew even back at the mission de Santa Catalina when the Nuncio had first rarefied him Jaff had agents here in the Cosm, and children who obeyed him. Howard was the Howard was heading back into the embrace of one of those agents even now. He had no alternative but to go into the grove on his own and look for people from whom he might raise hallucinogenia. There was no value in putting off the moment. Maybe there would be a few people he could catch dreaming. He thought again of Raoul and the blissful hours they shared watching the clouds change shape. One day he would join the clouds when his war with the Jaff was done. Only the fixed felt pain. Fletcher the protein lived in everything, always. Oh, to be there. William Went always liked to watch. As a boy, he watched his town corrupt four innocent girls. He shared this dark secret with no one. Now, 18 years later, as he watched his town, the grove, he knew something wasn't right. He had no cogent answer as to what or why, but he knew that Palomo Grove was a sickness. Within Palomo Grove was a sickness. Nevertheless, William Witt had a job to do. Terrible. Filthy things growing in up the pool some days. Is someone inside, kids? This house is off limits, you know. What kind of kid's toy? What, what the? Don't stand on ceremony. You're welcome in. Don't stand on ceremony. You're welcome inside. Mr. Witt, is that Tommy Ray? What's going on here? Do you realize you're trespassing and you're not going to tell on us, are you? I'm, it's not that simple, Tommy. Yes, it is. Jesus Lord. Unreal, huh? You probably know most of these folks, William. Like this one. They came from that woman. What was her name? Mildred something? D Duffin. Mildred Duffin. Duffin. Good, good. How could we forget? I can see you're flummoxed, Wit. You're wondering is this Mildred's new pet? The answer is no. The answer is, this is Mildred's deepest secret made flesh. And that's what I want from you, William. Fess up. You've got some bad stuff in your head. I just want to take it out and make it mine. Keep your distance. It doesn't hurt. Well, maybe a little at the start, but once you get the bad stuff out, you'll be a different person. Mildred was just one. He visited a whole bunch last night. You think you know these people, but they all got fears. They never confess. Dark places they've covered up with smiles. These are what lives... The... <clears throat> these are what live in those places. I just call them forth. The pool. Yes, that's one of them keeping cool. 
I call them Tarada, which means monstrous birth, a prodigy. I want to see the one in the pool. You should see the way they come out. Boy, that's a sight right out of their pores. Here. Here she comes. You're going to be very impressed. I bet I am. Hey! You let him slip. I'm not going to be able to rely upon you, I see that. He tricked me. You shouldn't sound so damn surprised, haven't you learned? Folks have secret... <clears throat> folks have secret faces. That's what makes them so interesting. You want me to go after him? Kill him? Easy, easy. We can't live with him spreading rumors for a day or two. Easy, easy. Yeah, let me do <clears throat> yeah, thank you for that. Rarified is a word. <laughs> uh, it just didn't look like a real word to me. You shouldn't sound so damn surprised. Haven't you learned? Folks have secret faces. That's what makes them so interesting. You want me to go after him? Kill him? Easy. Easy. We can live with him spreading rumors for a day or two. But we'll need to vacate this place after dark. No worries, I found us a permanent residence last night. Where? She's not quite ready for us, but she will be. You'll see. Meanwhile, I need you to take a small journey for me. I won't take long. It won't take long. <clears throat> it won't take long. But there's a place down the coast where I left something important to me a long time ago. I want you to get it back for me while I dispatch Fletcher. Sure. Well, hurry back. There's going to be a party, a major party. This town never saw the likes of this party. Half of Hollywood will be there. And the other half will want to be. some more water here in a minute. Yeah, let me just take a let me get a let me get some fresh water real fast. We're not going to take a full on break. I just want to go grab some water. I'll uh, BRB real real quick. Mega quick.
little stretch here. I'm a little... I'm not, I'm not like, sleepy, but physically I'm a little tired. I can kind of feel my voice a little bit raspy, because I've just been doing these, like, um, I'm doing a lot of tr dramatic voices, and I'm like, oh, it's kind of rough on the old, uh, rough on the old voice box, though. I should stick with this voice in the rest of the book. I'll do the boy voices and the girl voices, and I'll do the monster voices, and they'll be the same. They'll be like, I'm the monster voice, I'm the bad man. And then the girl voice will be like, hi, I'm the girl voice. And the boy voice will be like, yo, boy, what's up? He'll be cute. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go a little bit more. You know what? Fuck it. I know I said I wasn't going to take a break, but... Let me do a really fast one. Caller, you're first on the line. Yeah, first time caller, long time listener, first time caller. Uh, so are those, those people gonna get naked? <laughs> yeah, you like that. Yeah, no, no they're not. No, there's, there's no one in here. There's no one in here on the, uh, Boward Hearn show. Oh, that'd be nice. Do they know anybody? Uh, try the internet, weirdo. Next caller. That's just, that's what this shot looks like. <laughs> It'd be like we cut to like, uh, oh wow, did you, did, were they, were they hot? Were they hot? You know? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my god, Boward Stern's really going crazy. Yes, 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 old Boward Stern. Radio personality and possible world leader. Possibly. <clears throat> you know, what would I try to think of? I'm trying to think of something really Howard Sterny. But like any, anything I ever watch are like little clips where he just has somebody famous and they just say something really cool and then Howard asks questions and I'm just like, eh. Meh. Everyone's having a good time. I think I, I, I am. So that that that's kind of top priority. Oh, we've had a nice, uh, decent turnout. A nice little couple of people here and there. I know that I'm doing this at a really weird time of the night too, and that's kind of intentional because I, I I figured this would be more uh, enjoyable, anyways. You know, you could watch it after the fact. And I didn't know how distracted I would be with chat. Apparently I'd not, because I, everyone's chat color is the same fucking color. Or it looks like the text color, I don't know. They really gotta fix that. It's really hard for me to wrap my brain around. And I have a very hardened brain, so you gotta heat it up first and melt like most of the brain goo down so that it's like dough yeah it's pretty fucking rough doctor said I shouldn't even be thinking so good no more cause my brain's so bad I'm like Pfft. they're like what the hell's wrong with this kid and I'm like I'm, I'm no kid I'm superman out of their office works like a champion oh YouTube chat has always been one uh, color gray for at everyone and blue for more mods yeah that's really annoying yeah 
I mean, well, I don't mind the text color, but I don't know. Like the little avatars, if they could be closer, maybe, maybe I just need to learn to read the avatars instead of doing the old Twitch thing of reading the the names. <laughs> I guess I don't know. None of that makes very good sense. But whatever. It's kind of funny though. It, it, I was watching a video and someone made a really good point that, you know, if, if YouTube just made like a few minor UI updates and, you know, off, it had things like gifted subs and, um, there's a couple of other things that it, I can't remember, but there's just like a couple little things that that really uh, would make it, you know, as competitive as as Twitch. And uh, and I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of like, well, maybe they'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, it really is. It could go a lot further if, it, if they added just a little bit to the UI. And, I mean, you know, they don't have to directly mimic what's going on on Twitch, but they could definitely integrate a lot of those mechanics, you know, like being able to create, you know, a page with interactive extensions that are easy to, you know, to... to uh, to configure and stuff like that and they add a bunch of you know they add a bunch to your page or to your channel or to your stream uh just little things like that would be really cool and yes yeah, things like gifted subs and and uh like uh i don't know the emotes are kind of dumb i wish there was more on that but whatever i know you can that's part of the once you're monetized or whatever you can you can set up sub you can your subscription you can set up for you can put you get emotes and stuff so i don't know i i i really love that it it gives you uh, a transcoder every time that's like the winner for me so i can do 1080 or i could do yeah i could do 1080 at 60 you know, totally necessary for a still comic book stream. A non animated, uh, well, I guess there's this, this is a lot of movement. Oh, I'm using bandwidth. Look at my arm. You gotta draw it in all these different places. Help. Oh my god, that's a cool art piece. It's over there for me, but, you know, same difference. All right. stretch in here. You don't think a gifted sub would make a, a big advantage? Yeah, I see that point too. Yeah, it's kind of weird because of how YouTube approaches the the unmonetized and the monetized in this, but um, I just think it's it would be nice because the gifted sub thing I think would be able to help exposure because I mean I you know if I if someone's like oh you really like this channel and I spent three dollars or whatever. Uh, and and gifted you a subscription to them for a month, I may be more inclined to go check them out just because, oh, my buddy did that. That's really nice of them. And, you know, I get the, the goods, but the, the content creator gets the money and things like that. I kind of like that. But, yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot of things that are just missing that I think it, all they have to do is implement them and they're going to have... Uh, 
I think a at least a competitive platform. I don't know if they're gonna do that though. A lot of people speculate that they they won't. I'm begging they might. Oh, pardon me, guys. I'm sorry I'm yawning so much. It's rude. It's uh, 4 a.m. here. And, but I slept in really late today. Although, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that tomorrow. Uh, what are we at on streaming here? We're at an hour and a half. So we've done... The first one was two hours. Um, let's... Let's go for... Let's, let's finish off this half hour here and see. Uh, they started rolling out the community page to unmonetize channels, so that's a start. Oh, cool. I didn't know about that. I'll have to look into that. Um, but yeah, uh, let's, let's go for another half hour and um, see where we end in the book. Uh, where we're at in the book and uh, and then we'll probably probably finish up the, the, the stream for, for today um, we will pick it back up just so you guys know anybody that's just coming in let's see let me make sure this isn't going to be an issue yeah, we should be able to do it next Saturday. So we'll continue the story. And of course, we'll have it all archived. I'm going to set these up to show on the... Well, they're, they'll automatically show up on that page, but I'll put them in a nice little playlist. Make them, make them organized. You gotta get organized to get wise. That's how you get surprised. Yeah, because I am getting a little tired. I don't like standing up. And the older I get, the less I enjoy standing. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I love this shot. I want to keep this shot forever. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah. What does Marlon Brando really look like? He looks dead to me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I just want to do videos with this now. I didn't realize I set up such a fucking Howard Stern looking shot. So, uh, did you, did you do it? Did you, did you touch something? Did you touch him? Oh, Howard, yeah, I touched him. I knew it. She touched him. She touched him. Hey, caller, you're on the air. Yeah, did she touch him? Hey, we already figured that one out. She did. Is it getting tired? Oh, man. Is, do I bitch about being tired a lot or something? Is that a, is that a plug at me being complaining about it? Because I do complain a lot about being tired. I really wish days were longer or I only needed to sleep less. Like, half as much would be awesome. Half as much would be awesome. Alright, let me play a rip for my saxophone. so much you could have me for full oh really well, I stream I stream four days a week on Twitch well that's the schedule it's been a little bit different lately but yeah it's four days a week on Twitch and then I want to start adding one day a week or something like that to do YouTube Saturday is a good night to stream on YouTube uh, there's a lot of other people streaming on that night 
and so it's kind of good to ride into that wave and thing like that things like that or at least that's my mindset with uh with twitch it's a little harder to find something to watch on on that night and that's my saturday night i mean honestly if you're if you're in europe or new zealand or australia or whatever on the other side of the globe it's it's already it already happened saturday your, your saturday is old bag for you <laughs> saturday done it it's great wrote a book about it go and pick it up here's the discount code 15 percent off But I do and love streaming, so it's uh, it's a really interesting medium. <sighs> All right, I will say too, I really appreciate uh, appreciate everyone hanging out in the stream. Thanks, Bryce uh, and Evie, uh, for 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 spending all this time in here. I really appreciate it. Um, it's it's really nice to have you know, a little bit of community and, and, or an audience or however you want to put it, but to have people with you just because, uh, it kind of keeps me, you know, like, okay, let's go Sid, let's do this. You know, like right now I, I, I didn't mean to take a long break and it's probably been like 20 minutes. So, but I do appreciate you guys, um, doing that. It helps me out in a very simple way just cause I'm like, Oh, can't stop now. People already know. If I stop, they'll be like, ah, that guy sucks. He's like, picks up things and then he just puts them back down for someone else to pick up. Loving the story? All right, well, let's get back into it. I should have turned the fan on the whole time I was doing this. I forgot. Oh, well. It'll be nice and cool later. All right. Let's get the, the jam, the spooky tones going. Feel those spooky tones. Okay. We're at Hotel Palamo. Probably gonna chill with Howie here. Or no, 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 wait. Grillo's there, too. I can't remember. No, wait, no. Grillo's at a different hotel. Oh, wait. No, he isn't. He's there. Oh, we could do this. No, that sucked even worse. Room service. Tesla? <laughs> New hair color, huh? Grillo, you were asleep. Yeah. You better stay away from me. I think I got... I think I got flu. I think I got the flu, is what I think it was supposed to be written there. Yeah. All right, let's start over. Tesla. New hair color, huh? Grillo, you were asleep. Yeah. You better stay away from me. I think I got the flu. Then go back to bed. Your boss Abernathy called. So did I... So did a woman named... Lila. Your boss Abernathy called. So did a woman named Ellen. Yeah? Her kid's the one that gave me the flu. What's the message? Needs to talk to you? Needs to talk to you. Urgently. No number. I should find out what she wants. She used to work for Vance. Scandal? Yeah. There's a story here, Tessa. And this one's strange. Something's going on that I don't understand. You know I was there when the men who were looking for Vance got killed. No, what happened? Well, they said on the news it was an underground dam burst. It wasn't. Or it wasn't just that. For one thing, I heard shouts long before the water spray... The water... Prayers down below. Okay, let me start back up. Well, they said on the news it was an underground dam burst. It wasn't. Or it wasn't just that. But one thing, I heard shouts long before the water. Prayers down below. And there was this fucking geyser. 
Water, smoke, dirt, bodies, and something else. No, two something else's. Coming out of the ground, undercover, flying. I swear, Tesla, maybe human, maybe not. They seem more like, I don't know, energies. And yes, I was clean and sober. A guy called Hotchisk, Hotchisk. And yes, I was clean and sober. A guy called Hotchkiss was there and can corroborate. I realize this only confirms what you thought about me, that I'm certifiable from working for Abernathy, digging up dirt on celebrities, and not falling in love with me, and not falling in love with you. Listen, Grillo, I'm a lousy nurse, so don't expect sympathy, but if you want practical help while sick, just point me in the right direction. Well... You could look in on Ellen for me. Tell her the kid gave me... Tell her the kid gave me flu. Make her feel guilty. There's a story there, and I've only got a piece of it. Don't worry, we'll survive. I just wanted to explain why he couldn't come... See. <clears throat> I just wanted to explain why he couldn't come see you. I can't talk here. I... And I can't leave Philip for too long. Will you take a message to Mr. Grillo for me? Tell him things have changed at Coney. What does that mean exactly? There's going to be a memorial party for Buddy and is at his house. Grillo will understand. I want to know if he needs an invitation. I think you can take the answer as yes. When's this to be? Tomorrow night. Short notice. People will come for Buddy. He was much loved. Lucky man. Thanks, Helen. William? It's Spilmont. I haven't much time. I've wasted enough time as it is. I went up to the house on the wild cherry glade right after you talked to me. And? And nothing. Guy. Big. Fat zero. The place was deserted, and I looked like an asshole going in, ready for Christ knows what. No, Oscar. You got it wrong. Only once, guy. Once I can take a joke, okay? No one's going to say I don't have a sense of humor. The whole place was empty? There wasn't a trace of... Give me a break. Yes, it was empty. The house, the pool, the garage, all of it. And don't try this on the other guy, on the other guys. And don't try this on the other guys, wit. They're warned. Like I say, once is enough. Who'd have thought there's fear in the ugly? Who'd have thought? There's fear in the unlikeliest of places. I want to hold it, but it doesn't look much like Spilmont. Oh, but it does. There was never a truer portrait of the man. This is his root, his core. A man's fear is what makes him what he is. And now, considering... Oh, wait. I fucked that up. Oh, but it does. There was never a truer portrait of a man. This is his root, his core. A man's fear is what makes him what he is. And now, consider it yours. What walks around out there tonight calling itself Spilmont is just the husk, the residue. It's almost dark. We should get it going. Fletcher is already in the grove. He is? Oh yes, he appeared in the middle of the afternoon. So, do we go kill him? We've got enough assassins. 
I don't want another mistake like with wit. You should get going. I'll fetch Joe Beth first. Why bother? We don't need her. I need her! You... you want her body. Maybe. I don't know what I want, but I'm sure as shit not... <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what I want, but I sure as shit know I don't want that fucker's cats touching her. She's family, right? His son is doing just what he wants. You're very persuasive. If it's that important, well, go get her. Seeing Palomo Grove for the first time, Fletcher had come close to despair. The Jaff had already established a... a bridgehead. The Jaff had already established a bridgehead here. Of that, Fletcher had no doubt. For Fletcher, whose hallucinogenia were born of rich and pungent lives, this complacent town offered little hope of sur a still This complacent town offered little hope of sustenance, and with no human agents to guide him, and the townspeople seemingly afraid of him, as if they could, as if they could, <clears throat> as if they could view this nuciated underneath his phallus. Sorry, that text is weird. And the townspeople, I'll you know, just do it right. And with no human agent to guide him, and the townspeople seemingly afraid of him, as if they could view the nuciated underneath his facade, he was lost. Oh, no, wait. I, okay, now I figured out how I'm supposed to read it. Oh, shit. Sorry. Thank you. Shit. Sorry, guys. God damn it. Should I go back? Well, I don't know. We went pretty far. Oh, man. I know. You guys said it. All right. Well, I'm sorry about that. I totally spaced it. My bad. Too many buttons. All right, we'll start here. For Fletcher, whose hallucinogenia were born of rich and pungent lives, this complacent town offered little hope of sustenance. And with no human agent to guide him, and the townspeople seemingly afraid of him, as if they could view the nuciate underneath his facade, he was lost. Little did the residents of Palomo Grove know that the one creature that might have kept them from extinction walked alone and powerless on the streets. You shouldn't be here. Well, I am. And you're glad I am. We have to talk. It's life or death. No, it's more than that. Ugh. We have to talk. It's life or death. No, it's more than life or death. My room's a mess. Um, you know, Mama would go mad if she knew you were in here. All the time when she was saying there... <clears throat> all the time when she was saying ter... La 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 la. All the time when she was saying there were terrible things in the grove, she was right. One of them came for me. And Tommy Ray last night. The Jaff? You know him? Something came, well, called for me, too. Fletcher is his name. He says he's my father, and I believe him. Don't cry. Don't see what 
Don't you see what this means? Don't cry. Don't you see what this means? We're not brother and sister. What's between us isn't wrong. It's us being together that caused all this. If we hadn't met, but we did. Oh wait, I got the... It's us being together that caused all this. If we hadn't met, but we did, they'd never have come from wherever they came from. Isn't it better we know the truth about them and ourselves? I don't give a fuck for their damn war, and I won't let it pull us apart. We have to leave Palomo Grove go where they can't find us. But Mama, if we leave now, our fathers won't have anything to fight about. It's not just about us. No, you're right. It's about a place called Quiddity. We went there, you and me, or almost went. I went to finish that trip. When we return to Quiddity, we'll go knowing what kind of journey it is. It'll be like walk. It'll be like waking in the middle. It'll be like a waking dream. We're supposed to hate each other, you know. That was their plan, Fletcher and the Jaff, to have us continue their war. Only. We're not going to. I want to be naked. With them downstairs? I, I, I don't know if anything that feels this, this forbidden could be good for my soul. You'll see, I promise. You'll see. Downstairs. Should speak to, should speak to Jo Beth. She needs to know her father was a man. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect? It wasn't God. The Jaff's nothing like God. You should see him. You know. If he exists, then he's human. Mrs. McGuire, I believe I should talk to Joe Beth about his visit. If indeed he was here. He was here. You don't believe me? I do, but really, allow me a moment with Jobeth. Is she upstairs? I believe she is. Jobeth, are you there? Jobeth? Ignore him, please. We haven't. I have to go, Howie. Suppose he comes up looking for me. I. Did you hear that? No. What? Somebody calling. The pastor? The Jaff. It's all right. I thought I saw somebody in your yard, but there's nothing. He's come back. Jesus, help us. Lord, help us. Keep us from Satan. Keep us from the unrighteous. Lord God Almighty, what is this? Mama, can you hear me? Let me in, will you? Let me in, and I swear I'll stop them coming. I swear I will. Company, Mama? I have to see Joe Beth. You've got a hold on Mama. Wait. Stand by. Oh, there he is. Company, Mama? I have to see Joe Beth. You've got a hold on Mama, Pastor. Tell her to give me Joe Beth, will you?
do it. Do it, or we're, we're all dead. See, Mama? Sound advice from the holy man. He knows when he's beat. Call her down, Mama, or I'm going to get mad. And when I get mad, so do Papa's friends. Call her. No need. There you are. Are you ready to leave? You have to promise you leave Mama alone. I will. I don't want to hurt Mama. You know that. If you leave her alone, I'll come with you. If you leave her alone, I'll come with you. They took Jobeth. Don't go after them. Stay here with me. They say she was half theirs. Anyhow, the devil's children. Kill them all! There's not a clean soul among them. Kill them all. Fuck you. to the back. Why don't you turn around real slow? The Jaff wants a word with you. More than one word. My son here thinks we should kill you, cats. He says he can't smell. Ugh. Man, this is hard to read. He says he can smell his sister on you. God knows I'm not sure brothers should know what their sisters smell like in the first place, but I suppose I'm old-fashioned. You were saying, cats? I wasn't saying anything about how woefully unnatural Tommy Ray's passion for his sister is, maybe? Anyway, he's very keen to do you mischief. Father, I hear you. The great and secret show in Palomo Grove affects everyone in different ways. Nathan Grillo and Tesla Bombeck. I'm taking you home, Grillo. You can write the story from there instead of lying that here in a pool of sweat. The great, <clears throat> the great man can concede he's too sick to stay, right? Maybe. You're right. Maybe you're right. I'll just go back for 24 hours. Get my shit together. I never saw you like this before. Vulnerable. It's kind of sexy. Now, come on. Let's go. Look at that guy. He looks sicker than you do. Wait. There's something on his back. Stay here, Grillo. It's okay, I swore I'd never leave home un unarmed. It It's alive, whatever it is. And I never have. Hold on. Help's coming. It, what the fuck is that? Get away, they're coming after me. Please, in God's name, they're coming. 
Grillo, get in the car. Get back in the fucking car. The mall. My father is there. Bastard. Leave it there. It doesn't matter. There's plenty more where he came from. You just wait for the pickings at the party tomorrow. Where's Cats going anyway? I wonder. He's headed down to the mall. Oh wait, let me fuck I fucked that all up. <clears throat> Got the wrong bubble. Where's Cats going, I wonder? He's headed down to the mall. Fletcher is calling him, just as I hoped. Where's the son ends up? That's where we'll find the father. Unless the Tarata get him first. They won't. They have their instructions. And that woman wasn't... And that woman... Wasn't that too perfect? What a big fucking hearted Samaritan. She's going to die, of course. Isn't there anything that touches... Isn't there anything that touches you? Too much. Too much touches me. And all I want to do is see clearly. Past the feelings. To the reasons. How? By killing Howie? Destroying the grove? Tommy Ray learned to understand, and you can do the same if you let me explain. But trust me when I say that Fletcher's our enemy, and his son too. They'd kill me if they could. Not Howie. Oh yes. He's his father's son even if he doesn't know it. There's a prize to be won, Joe Beth. It's called the art. When I have it, I'll share it. I don't want anything from you. Oh my gosh, I'm here my neighbors. I'll show you an island. No. And a shore. Later. We'll have plenty of time to talk. On that island, the day never ends. No. Grilla trusted Tesla's wit. Grilla trusted Tesla's wit to keep her ahead of the horde. So he went to fetch more help in the form of the puzzled but armed Hotchkiss. In the distance, the sound of alarms. Now nah, let me let me redo that. I felt I pasted it up too badly. Grillo trusted Tesla's wit to keep her ahead of the horde, so he went to fetch more help in the form of the puzzled but armed Hotchkiss. In the distance, the sound of alarms. Grillo drove maniacally towards the sound, praying they were in time. I want to warn you, Hotchkiss, that what we saw come out of the ground during the cave, it was just the beginning. There are creatures in the grove tonight like nothing I've ever seen before. I fucked that up. There are creatures in the grove tonight like nothing I've ever saw before. We have to get these people back. If they see what I've seen, they're going to be such a pain. We have to get these people back. If they see what I've seen, there's going to be such a panic. Might do them some good. All those years, they thought I was crazy because I closed the caves. Because I talked about my daughter, Carolyn's death, as murder. I don't follow. 
Another time, Grillo. When you've got time for tears. They stopped following us. Inside. Whatever you say. Howard? Keep away. I have to speak with Howard before the Jaff arrives. Who? Never mind. It's killing him. Its head. Take hold of its head. Let go! You have to journey to under you have a journey to undertake. What is this? Palm reading? I wanted the boy to go, but I see now you came instead. Hey, I've done all I can do, big guy. My name's Fletcher, and I beg you, don't desert me. You're part of the story now. You were born to be here, now with me. I don't understand. I don't understand any of this. We have very little time. Hotchkiss, are you in charge? What's going on here? This whole place smells like gasoline. There's someone in there. Tesla? Stay away, Grillo. Don't bring anyone near us. Us? Since when was it us? His name's Fletcher. The boy is his son, Howard Katz. It's all going to blow, Grillo. And I'm going to stay until it does. Can we take the boy? Yeah, be quick, Grillo, or it's over for all of us. Holy shit, you escaped from the caves, right? Right. What's going to happen? Fletcher is leaving. What? Where? Nowhere and everywhere. How do you know? Because I told her, quiddity must be preserved. Take my son, gentlemen. Keep him out of the line of fire. Go, Grillo. Whatever happens from here on, it's the way he wants it to be. Go, Grillo. Whatever happens from here on, it's the way he wants it to be. The Jaff. Joe Beth and Tommy Ray. Where? Let me go. They'll kill her if we don't stop them. What is all this about? Your antics have woken half the town. The half you haven't poisoned. Now don't talk yourself into the grave. Beg a little. Tell me you'll give your balls if I let you live. That was never much to me. Your balls? Living. You had ambition too. Don't deny it. Not like yours. True, I had scope. You must not have the art. Too late. I feel it. In my fingers. All right. If you want me to beg, I'll beg. Quiddity must be preserved. Gun. He's going to kill her. That's his daughter. You think he cares? Going to shoot me down in cold blood in front of all these nice people? Go on, I dare you. I'm not afraid. I like death, and death likes me. Pull the trigger, cats. If you've got the balls. Hey! Don't kill him. Now, as for you. Better back off now. 
slipped out of our hands. Blam, blam. Jaff retreated then, not from the flames, which had no effect, but from the beads of power that Fletcher's transformation released. Fletcher's hope for the transformation of the tribe had been realized in this moment. The burning motes coming off his body went out like bright seeds in search of fertile ground, which they found in the form of the Grove residence. Fletcher himself was, at long last, becoming light. The Jaff, preferring to avoid the moats altogether, took his leave unhindered. For Grillo and Hotchkiss, this event brought satisfaction that their eyes hadn't betrayed them during the cave-in. For Howie and Joe Beth, it brought a reunion, and for Tesla, the knowledge that Fletcher's going to have. And for Tesla, the knowledge that Fletcher's going had passed the great weight of his responsibility to her. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. It's just light. It was the grove itself, however, which had borne the brunts of the night's magic. Its streets had seen horrors, its citizens had been touched by spirits. Soon, war. The next morning. I think, yeah. All right. That's not a better spot to stop. The climactic self-immolation of the Fletcher and his attempt to defeat the Jaff by spreading his essence into the town, possibly to create his hallucinogenia. Didn't see that coming, did you? The low drones in the background make the, the so much better. That's awesome, Dimitri. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, it's just the neutron, like, goofing around. We got the scope on it, too. Oh. Aww. Well, let's see. What page do we make it to here? Fantastic. We're about a third of the way in, a little over a third. Give or take. And... Yeah, to make sure I didn't miss anybody here. Uh, we're all good. But yeah, no, this was nice. Um, I had a lot of fun. I think we should, uh, glad to probably should. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm, that's part of the idea is I, I just wanted to do this and, uh, I just wanted to make some, some content for YouTube that was streaming, but I didn't want to leave people out on Twitch. And I thought this would be something that would be kind of weird to do on Twitch, maybe, but might be a good place to do on on YouTube since they they stay forever. As do you, yeah, Bryce. We're gonna we're gonna end it up for tonight. I just uh, definitely wanted to. Uh, well, welcome, Dimitri. And I, I don't think I saw you saying hi earlier. Cyrus. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay, now I'm putting one and two together. One and two together for the feather. 
Nice, guys. Well, um... Let's see. Ah, just leave it on that frame. That frame looks cool. Um, yeah, let's, uh, I think we're gonna finish it up for tonight. I'm gonna go to sleep, and we'll do Jam Town on Twitch tomorrow. Uh, we'll come back, and, um, I'm gonna fix these edits so that you can tell part one and part two. And we'll come back to, uh, Saturday. And do, uh, do the rest of this, or at least the other third. I don't know. Since I have a better sense of how long this takes now, I can kind of use that to mark it. But, uh, yeah, other than that, uh, wait, you figured it out what? The dragon. The fire breath. Yeah. There you go. Well, thanks for everybody um, that hung out today and uh, tonight and everything. I appreciate it. Uh, like I said, we little got Jam Town. Uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on Twitch. And uh, for the rest of this month, while I'm getting stuff ready for, for uh, the lab... So we can go back. We got a lot of shit to work and fix on. So we'll do that. And um, and then, yeah, next Saturday, I guess it'll be the... I looked at this date and I forgot what it was. It's going to be next month. Because right? I don't think there's another Saturday this month. Yeah, it'll be the third. Or the second, whatever. It'll be one of those days. And um, we'll do another jam tent. Or we'll do... God damn it. Yeah, I should go. I can't even talk straight. <laughs> we'll finish up this book and uh, and then I'll, I'm going to take this footage as well and uh, edit it down so we have something nice for uh, to work with but yeah guys thanks so much hey thanks again Bryce and Evie for, uh, for hanging out I really appreciate you uh, modding and chilling and, uh, and saying hi to everybody really awesome really really great um you guys have a good rest of your night and or day and uh see you cats soon hey um yeah take it easy take it easy take it easy guys all right oh yeah i had a let me see let me do let me do this and then i can like i can fade away Brrr.